channel my name is Ashley Jaden for those who are new welcome welcome so loves I know I have been MIA for the past week it was just such a busy week for me last week I didn't have a chance to even try to put it out any content at all but I was like you know what it's time for me to take some time out and actually try to get some videos out for my loves so yeah today I'm actually here with a new color you guys I dyed my hair and it is looking fabulous okay love so in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got this new color and also I'm gonna be doing my very first lymph check after coming up my lock and by the way you guys I am rocking my first official successful wash and go yes this is my first time actually doing a wash and go and it was actually successful and I actually defined my freaking 4c curls look at that you guys look at that definition I am so so excited I promise I will come in a later video and show you guys how I achieve this I love this hairstyle okay so let's start with why I decided to dye my hair so when I was like four months into my lock journey I actually got my tips of my locks dye it was like a reddish dark reddish brown type of highlight and it was cute when I had locks but after combing out my locks I realized it wasn't really really flattering and honestly the fact that my hair was already super dry and it was colored my hair just looked just unhealthy and damaged and just like it was horrible so I was like, you know what, it's time for me to dye my hair. I am done with these highlights, my locks are gone. It's time to start all over, it's time to start fresh. All right, love, so to dye my hair, I actually use the Shea Moisture Nourishing Rich, I don't even know if I'm saying it right. I use the Shea Moisture Nourishing Moisture Rich Hair Color System Dye. I use the color Medium Brown for this. This is my second time using this particular dye um, and this particular brand. I love the fact that it is certified organic um, and has certified organic ingredients inside of it. I had a great experience for the first time I ever used this dye, so I was like, you know what, why not give it another chance, and that's what I did. Okay, so on the price point, you guys, um, it's kind of up there in price as far as hair dyes. It was $14.99 at my local beauty um, supply store, but with everything that's included and the fact that you know you're using organic ingredients for your hair, it I think it's a win-win type of situation. So another great thing that's good about this Shea Moisture Hair Color System dye is that it comes with a lot of detailed information about the actual story behind you know Shea Moisture and also it gives you detailed descriptions of why the organic ingredients that's used inside this particular product is good for the health of your hair. So let's jump into everything that's included in this little package. So when you take it out, you get this cute little brown little pouch with everything that's needed. And I think that's probably where the $14.99 comes from and the fact that it uses all organic products. But yeah, this little pouch is so cute and it comes with everything you'll need. So first it comes with these detailed instructions. So included in this little pouch, you get the Shea Butter Color Cream, the Shea Butter Developer Cream. You also get latex-free gloves and an application brush. Then you get the Raw Shea Moisture Retention Shampoo and the Raw Shea Restorative Conditioner. And lastly, you just get the Raw Shea Reconstructive Finishing Elixir. So one thing I actually forgot to mention, you guys, is make sure you wear an old t-shirt. I just wore an old t-shirt so I don't get any dye on a cute top or anything. Also, I didn't have a plastic um, shower cap, so I just used a regular bag it does the same you know job let's jump into the dyeing process tip number one if this is your first time dyeing your hair and even if it's not ladies and gentlemen please make sure you read all the instructions before actually dyeing your hair or opening up anything one because the dye actually processes and oxidize in 30 minutes so you don't want to be opening up the dye and mixing it with the developer and then you know time is just rolling on and then it oxidizes and it it's no longer active. So the cool thing about the um, instructions is that it comes with two different techniques that you guys can use. So you can either use the brush technique or you can use the bottle technique. I end up using the bottle technique though. So first thing I did was I sectioned off my natural hair into four four sections. So basically I use the all over method which is basically starting from the base of your scalp or a couple inches away from your scalp and then just applying and spreading the dye to the ends of your hair. After finishing my first section I actually went off camera and I finished my entire head. It got a little messy so I went to the bathroom and I decided to do that all in the bathroom. So here is what my finished dye is looking 
looking like. I got the dye all over my hair. Um, it actually did a great job defining my curls, which was like really crazy. And that's where I actually got the idea to do a wash and go. So after that, I ended up heading to let it finish processing for 30 minutes. So after the dye was finished processing, you guys, I ended up rinsing my hair and I ended up washing it all out using the Shea Moisture um, Raw Shea Butter products that was included inside the a box. And then I just went ahead and I did a wash and go after everything's washed out. So yeah, that is it. Look at my curls, look at my color. Okay guys, so lastly, I'm gonna jump into this limb check. I'm not gonna be using a ruler. Like I said, this is my first natural hair limb check after coming up my locks. My hair has grown out of a tapered haircut. So my hair in the front section is gonna be longer than the hair on the sides and also the back. So let's start with the front. So I'm just gonna take a piece and pull down. So my front portion goes below my lower lip. All right, let's move on to the sides, ladies and gentlemen. It goes a little bit underneath my jawline. This side, same thing, a little bit below my jawline. So this is how high my top portion goes. I'm trying to scratch down so you guys can see. And I'm gonna do the back, hopefully you guys can see. Almost touching my clavicle, if you guys can see. Same thing, almost touching my clavicle. So that was my limp check, you guys. Super quick, just showing you guys where I'm at. So that is it, you guys. This video was super quick. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not already part of my love squad. And also, don't forget to go hit that notification bell so when I upload, you guys are notified immediately. So until next time, loves, bye.